Hey, what's going on, late night movie lovers all over the world? This is your boy, Testify to the Music, aka Mikey Savage 21, bringing you another movie review. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the 2016 film Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising, which stars Seth Rogen, Zach Efron, Rose Byrne, Chloe Grace Moretz, Dave Franco, Ike Baron Holtz, along with Carla Galo. Kersey Clemens and Beanie Feldstein in there as well and serves as the sequel to the 2014 film Neighbors. The film is basically about Mac played by Rogan and his wife Kelly played by Rose Byrne who are attempting to sell their house and are shocked to discover that a sorority moves in during their 30-day escrow. This leads to the desperate couple to team up with their former enemy, Teddy, played by Zac Efron, to bring down their new next door neighbors who are more debaucherous than the fraternity previously living there. And we have our three main stars here, who would be Chloe Grace Moretz, Kurtzie Clemens, and Beanie Feldstein. And so pretty much my thoughts in this film, we're going to keep this kind of quick because again, this is a late night movie review. Uh, I absolutely love the film. It was freaking hilarious. Um, and I can honestly say I didn't see the first one so going in I had no no expectation whether it was going to be extremely funny or not I can say this was funny extremely funny I've heard that it's not as funny as the original I plan to watch that sometime tonight and get a feel for myself and I'll let you guys know how I feel about that in the comment section below um, but again I love this film it was absolutely funny it was absolutely hilarious I love Zac Efron I love the the progression of what he was going through I have to say him Dave Franco and of course Seth Rogen all together had to be the highlight of the film um, along with newcomers I I like the newcomers the the new females that they had in here uh, with Chloe Grace Moretz uh, Kersey Clemens and uh, Beanie Feldstein uh, I really liked it. It was really cool. I, I like what they were doing with the characters and how it was about sisterhood versus parenthood and how you have the parents trying to take on this sorority who essentially just want to party because the law says that sororities can't party and that fraternities can party. So you just have these girls who are just essentially trying to do this for women rights and trying to have fun without necessarily being groped at a fraternity. So I like what was going on there. The antics in there freaking hilarious just absolutely freaking hilarious i will say this uh if you're against like nudity and stuff you can go into this film without worrying there's only one minor piece of nudity and it's more male nudity and it involves uh, um the male anatomy um the the ball sack as as people have called it being shown um but other than that no nudity whatsoever <clears throat> But again, it's pretty much like your typical Seth Rogen film. Uh, there are laughs throughout. Some here were flat here and there, but most of them were really funny. I was in a small theater with a with a small crowd, but I can honestly say that the crowd that was there, they laughed at the majority of the jokes. Again, there were a few that fell flat, and you know, I, I kind of got why they didn't fall flat. But I can also say, if you haven't seen the first film, you can walk into this film perfectly fine, knowing what's going on, and still enjoy it. Um, but you'll just get have a better understanding of these characters and where they've been and where they're coming from if you see the first one. So again, uh, rating this film, I'm going to give it a solid 4 out of 5. It's a great film. It's a great laugh. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I would have to say it's almost as funny as Keanu um, with Key and Peel, um, but not quite there. Again, it was real funny. They had a lot of wild antics in there. Uh, it was like a throwback for me uh, to some of the movies that I grew up with, like American Pie um, and, and some of these other film franchises where you have these, these coming-of-age films where they're essentially parents going against their children and everything so i really like that and i really like the concept that we're going i highly recommend you go check it out again i'm giving this a solid four out of five it was freaking hilarious if you want to laugh your your butt off silly if you love kind of like that gross out humor and you love just zach efron and seth rogan and rose Byrne and these other characters that are in here and you want to support them i definitely say it's worth your time uh, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this review up. Uh, again, today was a little bit quick. Uh, I'm going to try to start doing these um, where it will be released around like midnight or later. 
um, we'll just call them late night movie reviews where I just review films that I saw earlier in the day or possibly just a few hours before like later at night uh, kind of giving you guys a wide variety of videos to check out but with that again being said thank you so much for checking out this video if you like the review or you like the films neighbors to sorority rising make sure you hit that like button smash it right in its face it really helps out the channel immensely also please subscribe to this channel as well as that also helps drive the channel and it lets me know that you guys are actually paying attention and actually care to what's going on here and again you know it, it just really helps out the channel a lot i really appreciate it if you would subscribe and again hit that like button as well also what did you think of the film make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section below use the hashtag neighbors 2 to discuss this in the comment section i know once i see neighbors 1 i'm going to post my thoughts on it and then i'll see how my scorch if it'll change or if it'll stay about the same or maybe go up a few points higher once i see the original but Again, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a blessed night and also have a blessed morning. I'm testified to the music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21 saying, peace out. Hey guys, I know you guys also like some of my other reviews that I've done. So here's some other reviews here that you can check out. Again, check those out. Make sure you subscribe and also hit that like button. Again, it helps out the channel immensely. I really appreciate you guys and all that you've done. I know we've had at least about 40 or more new subscribers come to the channel. Again, thank you so much and want to welcome you to the channel. I hope you guys are thoroughly entertained and have lots of fun. Again, check out the videos that I have annotated right here. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Thank you again so much. And I'm testifying to the music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, saying peace and stay tuned for more upcoming movie reviews as well as entertainment news. Also, before I forget, I also want to wish you all a happy belated Memorial Day. That's why this review is coming up a little later on than it usually would be. I hope you all had a blessed Memorial Day. Again, thank you again to the men and women who serve our country daily so that we're able to experience the freedoms um, that we have today. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts so much for the service that you put in and for the ones who are currently serving. May God be with you and your families as well as you continue to serve our country so that we can continue to be the great nation that we are. Again, happy belated Memorial Day, and I hope you all have a blessed day.